Welcome to this edition of Open SCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at this. What is this, you might be asking? Well, this is a base, a bit of a sci fi looking rocket base for an Amazon Echo. Now, this is designed for the full size Echo tube. Uh, makes it sort of look like a rocket. I'll show some pictures after we print it out so you kind of get a better idea. Um, however, a couple points I did want to share uh, with you guys on this is, is one of the things when I set up to do the fins, and you notice that there's there's a whole module and things in here for the fins, and it's rather interesting, but it's very similar to the code I've used in past programs to create circular objects. They want to fall along the cardinal routes of 90 degree angles to one another, or uh, along these axes. However, I needed to also put this opening in here for the cable because one of the things you'll notice is I have a smaller opening here and a larger opening here. So the idea is you tip it on its side, pass the larger plug through here while the smaller side accommodates the cable pass through, and then you can wind the extra cable in the base. So that's kind of a unique feature to kind of clean it up on, on the uh, countertop, which is what I wanted to do. Um, and have this storage. However, it wanted to be set inside one of the fins, and so it took a little bit to do that. And one of the pieces here uh, that I will highlight is remove keyhole one to allow the plug and then uh, to allow the pass through. Now, one of the things that you see here is that uh, the rotate and the translate all get rather interesting mathematically with. Uh, you know, cosines and sines and things like that. So it, it took me a little bit of work. So th I think this code is definitely worth stealing if you're interested uh, in doing this. And so uh, this was one of the other pieces. Now I did make a number of uh, parametric settings and, and one was fin count. So I've got it set to four. So we can also jump this to 10 and boom. So now you have a very interesting uh, piece. And again, I had to work it out, and at some level, the, the keyhole and the uh, fins will intersect, but for most normal configurations, um, you should be able to fit them in there just fine. And so, uh, because I am going to make a thingiverse of this, or I should say I have made a thingiverse of this, so uh, just take a quick look at it. So, so here it is on thingiverse as a customizer. So you can go to thingiverse, and if you don't want to download the OpenSCAD code, you can go to thingiverse and... and uh, set it up yourself or um, hey go with open SCAD. so I tell you what I'm gonna print this out let's go over the bench let's take a look at it and then we'll take a look at a couple of the pictures uh, of it actually assembled and uh, so see you over at the bench okay welcome back so uh, we actually printed this out I didn't do a time-lapse because I had a couple other things going so uh, However, I did want to show you guys the finished product, and it came out rather good. And what I'll do is I'll do an overlay probably up over there of this actually attached to the um, uh, Amazon Echo. So it, it worked out pretty good because, again, we have, you'll notice that, uh, that I talked about, we have the two pieces where it wraps, the cable comes in here, wraps around, then goes back in here. And you'll notice that the interior size is a little bit larger that allows us to insert the... Uh, end of the cable into here, but yet have a little bit smaller opening just for the uh, cable itself. Uh, plenty of room inside here to wrap it around. And, and to be frank, it uh, looks pretty darn cool. So it gives kind of the X-Wing look. And again, as you can kind of see on my kitchen counter over here. So uh, uh, pretty impressed overall with the, with, with the design. And again, um, you know, I have this out on the website. This I'm not releasing is is open. You can use it for personal use. Uh, no commercial, please. And again, hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this episode of Open SCAD. You've learned a thing or two. Um, trust me, I've learned a thing or two from developing this, and it's been a lot of fun. So, hey, anyways, uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more of this stuff coming. So, look forward to seeing you in a future episode. Cheers.